salutations and blessings. Tara Davy here, also Laura Joplin, and welcome back to my virtual yoga studio here on YouTube. It's always a gift to connect and share practice with you in this way. And especially now, I acknowledge you could be watching this practice at any time, and I hope you are, um, but I am filming this practice in a time when, um, to be totally frank, there has been an act of white supremacist, anti-Semitic violence in our country. I'm here in the US um, and um, white power has shown its continued capacity to enact violence, to stay in power. Um, and first of all, I am a white person. Um, and so I am, you know, I'm in a space where I have to use my consciousness practices to be consciousness about how I perpetuate all the the destructive forces that are coming to the forefront again um, but i also feel very aware that this is a heightened time of tension um, nervous system dysregulation for all of us and so um, i feel called to share consciousness practices for both of those reasons and i just saw a quote from one of my teachers his name is lama rod owens buddhist lama incredible author you should check him out um, and he said we can't fix everything. We can't practice this discomfort away. And what I take to mean, or what I take that to mean is that um, we can't just expect to do some breath and meditation and to feel instantly better and to just be able to be love, light, bliss, peace, and expect the world to follow along. Sometimes the most conscious thing to do and perhaps what we're being asked to do right now is to sit in the discomfort, to use consciousness practice not to bypass the discomfort, but to be with it, with love, compassion, um, and deep awareness. And hopefully our awareness means that there's one more aware person in the world um, and person by person that work of, of awareness and deeper consciousness starts to happen. And I don't share that to, to say that I have all the answers, but just to share with you the container that I'm holding for you, where I'm coming from, where I'm coming from as I hold this space of practice for you today. And the focus of our practice, the one I'm about to share with you, is very simple. Please do your practice. So we're gonna do just a few minutes of yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and awareness practice together. You may wanna grab some props, right? If you have your yoga mat, feel free to spread it out in a space where you have enough room for you. You might grab a blanket or beach towel. I'm sitting on a blanket so they can provide good padding. You could grab a couple of yoga blocks or thick books if you want that kind of support, but get what you need. And then to begin, I invite you to come to a comfortable seat. And a comfortable seat is any seat, as long as your spine is long and spacious. You wanna find a forward curve in your lower back, your lumbar spine. You wanna find a place where you can relax your shoulders down away from your ears, begin to roll them backward toward each other so the center of your chest lifts and you begin your practice with the posture of an open heart. Beyond that, however you position your arms and legs is up to you. Feel free to sit on your blanket. Maybe it'll feel good to lift your hips higher than your knees. Sit on a block, sit with your back to a wall. But you find your way into your comfortable seat to begin. And once you do that, please circle your palms to touch and begin to uh, rub your palms together. Creating a sense of heat, aliveness, power between the palms. Breathing, if you can start to breathe in and out through your nose, if nostril breath is accessible for you. And then once it feels nice and warm between your palms, please cup your hands over your eyes. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose and feel the heat from your hands against your eyes. Just imagine that heat settling your eyes. We take in the majority of our information through our sense of sight. There is so much information to take in, process, digest, use for our growth and consciousness, but we have to take care of the eyes. So imagine the heat grounding them, helping you release any excess energy. 
and let that be a process of arrival. You're relaxing and settling into your practice here. Continuing to breathe. I did a beautiful meditation right before the 2020 winter solstice. It's the beginning of 2021 as I record this, but before the solstice last year, I did this meditation and the teacher called this position the posture of mourning giving ourselves this physical permission to feel what we feel, start to process and be with what we are with. So allow yourself to do that for a few more breaths here. Inhaling. As you exhale, release your hands from your eyes and now put your left hand on top of the center of your chest. Put your right hand on top of your left and same practice, but this time at your heart. You can close your eyes here or gaze softly at the floor, but just feel the heat from your hands warming, empowering, waking up and grounding your heart space, whatever it is that you feel. Whatever it is, your deepest qualities of love, compassion, and gratitude are, are being um, awakened for what they're teaching you about. Whatever you feel in relation to your heart, just letting it be grounded with your presence and your breath. Especially if it's discomfort, heartbreak, pain. Hold that. You don't have to try to push it away, change yourself, think that you're any less because you feel it. Just hold that. Continue arriving, continue breathing. On your next inhale, just bring your thumbs to touch and swivel your palms until they touch. So you're at a prayer pose, pranam at the heart, thumbs touching the center of your chest. And then from here, turn your palms open slightly so that your pinkies are still touching, but your hands are cupped like you're trying to hold water. And with that cupped hand position, inhale, send it to the skies. Exhale, flex your palms, squeeze your upper arms, squeeze your shoulders, make a big clearing circle. Bring your hands back to center, cup your palms slightly. Inhale, send that position to the skies. Exhale, squeeze arms and shoulders, big clearing circle. And let's do this with the breath. Starting to introduce movement, taking that sense of presence, grounding and breath awareness and letting it guide you naturally into movements that continue to connect you to those qualities of being with what you are with. Let the breath guide the movements. And if you like the visual in your practice, imagine that you are offering up to the skies and then clearing away what you can clear. So you're offering whatever it is you need to offer. You know, the skies know, the cosmos know. Mother night sky, as my solstice meditation, meditation teacher said, mother night sky knows. So you offer up what you're offering up. You clear space where you can as you exhale. Keep going. Offering up your prayers, your intentions, the things you wish to release, learn from, grow from, the things you need to receive, things you wish for others, you know what it is and the skies know. Continue to offer up and clear for five. Two, with the pace of your breath, whatever that pace may be, honor that throughout this practice. 
One more time, make your clearing circle. This time, circle your hands back to Pranam, just acknowledging your heart. And then if your legs are crossed, please switch so that the other leg is in front, creating some balance for your hips. Let your palms rest face down on your knees or thighs. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine tall through the waist through the ribs. Exhale, tone your belly to fold you over your right knee. Swivel to the left and then inhale back to center. Body circles, exhaling, sweeping forward and around, inhaling upright. Continuing to introduce this movement with the breath. Your hips stay rooted to the floor. You're moving from the strength of your belly, the core of yourself. If you can let your ribs move and your shoulders move, do that as your torso waken, wakes up, your spine becomes a little more warm and powerful and alive. You're just winding your way into the moment, to the body, to the practice. Again, whatever you're sitting with. This practice is called moving with the wind as well. So it's like working with what is present rather than against it. Feel some warmth arising in your body. Exhale, circle forward and around. Inhale, upright, lengthen your spine. Exhale, settle. Tailbone rooted down, shoulders relaxing down. Just notice the sensations that your practice is starting to generate. Continuing that practice of being with what you are with right now. Inhale again, lengthen your spine. Other side, we're gonna exhale, roll over the left knee and then to the right and take your body circles in this direction. Continuing that connective practice of moving with your breath. My teacher, Swami Jayadevi, says that the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, the moment is the source of the breath. And in our practice, the breath is the source of the movement. The second part was for me. <laughs> but what we're doing is using all the resources we have to tap into that source, that moment, where we have enough space and strength to be with whatever's here. Inhale your spine back to neutral. As you exhale, settle your tailbone, settle your shoulders, settle into awareness of what you're working with, what you're feeling, what your world is like for you right now. And then on your next inhale, I invite you to please rise up onto your hands and knees. Make a tabletop for yourself. You can pad your knees with a blanket or towel if you'd like. Make sure your thigh bones and upper arm bones are straight up and down. Curl your toes under. Spread your fingertips wide. Point your index fingers straight to the top of your yoga mat and then press your index fingers into the floor. Feel the inner edge of your palm active, which is the, the way we always wanna put weight in our hands. It's the safest thing for our wrists. With that solid alignment, that continued presence, inhale, drop your belly toward the floor. Tilt your tailbone up toward the sky. Lift your chest, chin, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then exhale, round your lower back, mid back, upper back. Press your shoulder blades apart. Draw your low belly in, tuck your chin, and begin to roll through these cat, cow, spinal movements, again at the pace of your breath. This, now that your full body, your full spine is getting into these movements, let it be a, the deepest opportunity so far to really ride your breath, connect to your breath. Let your breath connect you to your moment and whatever that means for you today. Spine continues to warm, belly warms, shoulders warm. Doing your practice. Here you are, you're doing it. <laughs> On 
your next inhale, bring your spine back to neutral. Rise up to kneeling. So you're going to stand on your knees here for a moment. Circle your wrists a few times. Continue your nostril breath. No matter what happens, that, that present uh, grounded flow is happening in and out through your nose. Circle your wrists the other way. Wiggle your fingers out a few times. Inhale, sweep your arms to the skies. Draw your belly button backwards. Squeeze your glutes so your low body's stable. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your head. Press your head backward, shoulders backward, and start to curl in your upper back. As you press your skull back, press your hands forward. Press your elbows apart and squeeze your shoulder blades together, just letting your heart start to move way forward in space as you sh your shoulders move way back. Stretch your neck and upper back. Give your heart space to be with whatever is here. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more full breath cycle here. Inhale, release your arms to the skies. Reach. Exhale, hinge at your hips, palms to the floor. Return to your tabletop. Now we're going to move the hips, untuck your toes, bring your thighs, shins, and ankles as close as you can get them and press your toenails, the tops of your feet into the floor. Keep pressing your index fingers into the floor. Inhale, circle your hips forward toward the front left corner of your mat and then swivel to the right. Exhale, circle back and around. Inhale, swivel it forward. Exhale back, hip circles. Draw your belly button away from the floor so that your belly is stabilizing your spine and this movement's coming from the hips. A little in the low back, but you have the support of your core. Just let this spaciousness, aliveness, power, all these qualities of practice you've been working with start to move into your low body as well. Inhaling on the top of your circle, exhaling at the bottom, connecting to the breath always, that source of your moment. All right, come to center as you exhale, and then inhale just to go right to the other direction. Swivel your hips forward to the upper right hand corner and then to the left, and then back and around as you exhale. Exhale back to center. Inhale, rise up to kneeling. Sweep your arms to the skies. This time as you exhale, reach your arms wide and around. Feel free to put your hands on your hips. Squeeze your elbows and shoulders backward as you puff your chest forward. Keep your belly and glutes stable or interlace your fingers at your lower back. Get the webbing of your fingers close and pull the heels of your hands as close as possible so that you have as much room to engage your shoulders as possible. And then again, squeeze your elbows and shoulders toward each other. Inner shoulders squeeze onto the back as your heart lifts. You can keep this pose at your low back, knuckles at the low back, elbows bent, or take an inhale, begin to lift your knuckles away from the low back, straighten your arms, if that feels okay for your shoulders. Yoga mudra, heart spacious again. Continuing to draw the belly button back, tailbone down and forward. Let the work happen in your shoulders as you make space to be with whatever is in your heart. Two breath cycles here. Release your arms, inhale, sweep them to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips, back to your tabletop once more. The shins, ankles, and thighs are touching or close again. Take a deep breath here, and as you exhale, just tilt your hips over to the left side of your yoga mat. Lean forward or backward until you become very aware of the sensations of your outer hip. Not painful ever. We don't want to force to the point of pain, but if there's discomfort, that makes sense because tension builds in our bodies. But this is where we get to put that idea of being with the discomfort as a consciousness practice 
into practice as we breathe here. So breathe here. Inhale your hips back to center and then just exhale over to the right and find your outer hip stretch as you lean forward, backward, move your way into it and then breathe with it. Inhale your hips to center. One more time, exhale to the left. So good if you sit a lot, sleep on your side, you have anything going on in your hips, sciatic nerve, low back. This is a release, right? Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right once more. All right, inhale to center. Rise up to kneeling again. You can separate your knees hip width. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, circle your arms wide and around. Feel free to put your hands on your hips and keep them there. Feel free to interlace your fingers at your low back. Webbing of the fingers close, heels of the hands close. Elbows bent, elbows squeeze, shoulders squeeze. Stay here or feel free to straighten your arms away from your lower back. Press your knuckles behind you, squeeze your shoulders back, yoga mudra. Feel free to stay here or take a deep breath in, tone your belly, lift your heart. As you exhale, keep your belly toned, begin to hinge at your hips, round your back, tone your belly like a cat pose and bring your forehead to the floor as close to your knees as you can get it without force. You can either keep this yoga mudra, extending your knuckles to the sky and squeezing your shoulders. You can put your hands on your hips and squeeze your elbows and shoulders or you can grab your shins or ankles behind you, okay? Then tone your belly, begin to roll onto the top of your head, lifting your hips high, keeping your belly strong so the weight doesn't go into your neck for rabbit pose. You are upside down, technically. You're in an inversion, freshly oxygenated blood to your brain, heart, a shift in kind of perspective, both for the mind and the nervous system. An invitation to be where you are, even when it feels weird or wild. And upside down, inhale. Exhale, tone your belly, lift your head, come to kneeling, release your hands and circle those wrists out a few times. And do it the other way. Release your hands, sit back on your heels, sit down onto one side of your hips, swing your legs out in front of, excuse me, in front of you. Lie down on your back with your knees bent and your soul, the soles of your feet on the floor. Okay, a lot of upper body shoulder core work that we just did. So let's make sure all that power and presence is firmly in our hips as well. Cause like we said, lots of tension can build there. So inhale, lift your right foot off the floor. Extend your right leg to the skies with your knee as bent or straight as is good for your body. But then press your right hip into the floor. Imagine drawing your outer right hip more to the left as you stabilize and clear your lower back. Flex your foot and spread your toes. And then press your thigh into your hands, hands into your thigh. Just get some action going for a release in the, uh, in the leg, the back of the leg. Inhale here, exhale, keep your right foot flexed, bend your knee, cross your right ankle to your left knee. Make this figure four shape. Keep the foot powerfully flexed and spread the toes so that your lower leg is engaged. Your knee joint doesn't have to do the work. Begin to press your right thigh away from you, but use your strong hip muscles so again your knee doesn't have to do the work. Supine pigeon. As you do deep work in your hip, feel your low back, your spine, your shoulders soft and stable on the floor. In this moment of deep work for this hip, just practice once again being with what's here. Breathing your breath as best you can.
You can stay right here if this feels fantastic, or if you wanna dial up your sensation, you don't have to, but if you want to, inhale, pick up your left foot, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, continue to flex your right foot, press your right ankle into left knee, knee into ankle, and go deep into that work of presence in the hip. Presence to the things that might be a little tense, that have built up in you, that are sometimes hard to be with, but you are doing this courageous practice of being with them anyway, which tells you you're capable of doing that with all things that life is asking of us. Right now, be with your breath for just another moment. At the bottom of your exhale, put your left foot on the floor. Uncross and put your right foot on the floor. Inhale, pick up your left foot. Second side, we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the left thigh. Begin to straighten the left leg to the skies. Straight, straight-ish, it's all good. Remember to adapt your practice to make it yours because only you can be in your body. And that's kind of the point, one of them. <laughs> Flex your foot and spread your toes. Press your left hip into the floor and draw your outer left hip to the right. Clear, stabilize that lower back. Now press your thigh into your hands and hands into your thigh, just creating some activity in the leg to stretch. Make space. Keep your foot flexed. On your next exhale, cross your left ankle on top of your right knee. Press your thigh away from you as you make this figure four. Flexing your foot remains so important to protect your knee. Use your hip to do the work here. Low back, spine, stable on the floor in this supine pigeon. Touch back into your breath once again. If this is the pose that speaks to your body, stay. If you want to dial it up a little and only if, pick up the right foot as you inhale, interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Press foot into ankle, ankle into foot, whole spine from low back to skull into the floor. Go deep into your breath, your presence to what is available as sensation and teacher in your moment right now. On your next exhale, place your right foot on the floor, left foot on the floor. And now we've done this upper body, lower body practice. Let's make sure that it's all balanced at the center. We'll do a little more core work here. So with your feet on the floor, we're gonna inhale, just lift the feet. Your knees will come on top of your hips. You're gonna flex your feet, flare your toes, hug your thighs toward each other, and your shins are parallel to the floor. So you kind of have this stair step in your legs. Now put your hands on your thigh bones. Begin to press your thighs into your hands, hands into your thighs. Feel your lower belly naturally engage as belly button moves toward the floor. Breathe here, warmth at the core of your being. Core work. Fuel yourself with your strong breath. We're inhaling here. Exhaling. Now keep everything engaged, your legs and thighs. Just grab the backs of your thighs. We're gonna roll upright. If you can, hover your feet off the floor. Maybe just bring the balls of your feet to the floor or keep the feet flexed, hovering off the mat. Lift and lengthen your spine, heart lifts, shoulders move back, and your lower back curves forward. You keep your abdomen toned to help you do that with stability. Stay here or again, lift your shins parallel to the floor. Stay here or reach your arms straight out in front of you for Ardha Navasana. Hug in your thighs, tone your belly. Can you be present to what is a little fiery here for three breaths? 
You can adjust your position as needed though. Two breaths. One more. Exhale, cross your ankles, come to your comfortable seat. Inhale your arms to the skies. Exhale, turn from your abdomen as you turn to your right. Put your left hand on your right kneecap, right fingertips behind you, and maybe even look over your right shoulder as you take a spinal twist. Twist from that strength of your core, of your abdomen. As your ribs turn, you move your shoulders back, low back forward, and you just kind of wind up the spine to unwind tension from your body to your nervous system and beyond, giving yourself ample space to be with what you are with. Inhale your spine to center, arms to the skies. Exhale, turn from the abdomen to the left. Right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Maybe look over that shoulder if your neck says yes. Tone your abdomen to turn you with strength and safety and power. Low back rolls forward, shoulders backward, heart lifts. Unwind by winding up so that you have the space you need. Give yourself spacious breaths to model that idea for yourself here in this pose. Inhale your spine to neutral, arms to the skies. Reach for something a little bigger than you. Maybe just the feeling of sky, space, or cosmos above you. Maybe your sense of the sacred, whether that's God, goddess, mother nature, um, your teachers, guides, and ancestors. Just reach for something. Feel yourself receiving and connecting. Inhale. As you exhale, imagine gathering that sense of connection between your palms. Press your hands together and deliberately pull it all to your heart. Pranam. Feel your thumbs touching the center of your chest and just drop your awareness right into your heart. Bring your awareness right back to your breath, that present sensation in and out through your nose and let it guide you into that awareness of your heart. You can keep your hands at pranam or rest them comfortably on your lap or anywhere else. You can close your eyes or gaze softly at the floor and we're gonna close with a meditation practice. And so you land right in the center of your chest, a few inches over from where your physical heart beats. Your spiritual heart, anahata, as the yogis would say, the fourth chakra the energy center of the heart. Physically, you feel the center of your chest, your sternum. You feel your shoulder blades, the space between your shoulder blades and everything from your, your chest to your upper back and in between the physical space of the heart. And that's where you start, just a physical awareness as if you are knocking on the door of the heart Going gently with your breath and awareness because as we've talked about, there is discomfort. We've all been wounded in our lives, some of us more than others, some of us systemically. In this time that I'm filming it, there is just automatic discomfort and heaviness to process. And so we go gently. The heart wants to armor itself against the pain and discomfort. So we just feel the physical sensations first, feeling the chest and shoulders, breathing the breath into the physical space in the heart to gently ask for heart awareness. Just starting to become aware, what is the physical experience of your heart right now? What sensations are there? Using your breath to go a little deeper, what emotional flavors and textures, what energetic qualities are there?
And with every breath you commit, whatever it is that you find here, whatever it is you might find uncomfortable, whatever it is your heart consciousness practice tells you you need to grow from, you commit to being with it. If there's a sense of being stretched, of being in pain, you commit to being with it. And with every breath, you know there is so much compassion there. Just your, your commitment to being with what is here with a steady breath tells you that you are worthy of being noticed, seen, and sat with in your present experience. By sitting with yourself, you confirm, you affirm your worthiness of presence. So you feel the compassionate presence starting to pour into those layers of the heart, physical, emotional, energetic. And every breath, you are the witness of all that's unfolding in your heart. And every breath is that commitment to being with it always. Give yourself these few breaths to be with. To hold yourself in the container of your own breath and presence so that you are affirmed in your compassion and courage to sit in discomfort, to sit in awareness and be with what must be tended to. And perhaps on these breaths, you feel gratitude in your heart because you know that it matters that you're doing this work. Gratitude is one of the deeper qualities of the heart. So perhaps to continue and deepen and affirm this process of awakening the heart, you inhale gratitude. Exhale gratitude, just going deeper and deeper into the realities of your heart, tending to it all with compassion, presence, deep gratitude. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. It's grounding yourself. Let's do that twice more. Final round. And in that sense of grounded presence and in the place of an awakened heart, circle your hands to your heart once more. Feel free to bow your forehead to your chest, to bow to your heart, your ability to be present, to bow to your practice, the community of practice we've shared and in service of anyone who cannot practice. And with gratitude that comes from deep within my own heart, I offer a bow to you. And I close our practice. Thank you for joining me in this space of virtual practice. It's a gift. It matters that you practice. 
please do your practice always. If this practice uh, was beneficial to you, please feel free to share the video, like, subscribe for uh, monthly yoga and meditation classes. And if you have feedback, questions, you want to connect on any of it, you can find me on Instagram at Lara Tara and we can keep going deep. I love you and I'll see you next time.